Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician. Today is going to be a shorter video, uh, not like the uh, long ones that I've been uh, doing in the past. Uh, I'm going to do a quick little tutorial on how to check the block for warpage and uh, stuff like that. So, But first, before I get started, I want to say thank you to uh, the subscribers. I hit 50, which is not a lot to most people, but to me that's pretty crazy because I didn't think anybody would ever want to watch these. So uh, thank you to all of you. Thank you to the ones that I didn't ask to subscribe, you know, means a lot. So, um, so, um, yes, we know your car. Somebody's revving back there. Actually, I think I know which car that is. That's another car that another another car for another video. Uh, one of the other technicians here, actually, he's a team leader. He uh, put together. Uh, he, he pretty much built his own his, you know, one of his cars. It's a uh, 203 chassis. So, actually, no, 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 202 chassis. Sorry. And uh, I'm gonna do a video on that um, a little bit later but I'll do that, so um, let's get on with it. So here we are, sponsored by that, not really, I'm not sponsored by the English translation of that, but that's my go-to energy drink. So I kind of dropped that one a little bit there, but whatever, dinged it after I put the fancy label on there, but that's the Spanish translation. Yes, I had I had help with that. Google helped and also some of my uh, uh, coworkers helped me with that also. Anyways, okay, so here's the block. I've already cleaned this. I, you guys don't need to watch me clean that. It's it's just a tedious process. And uh, so, but you do want to get off all the, the high spots, just like the uh, we were going through earlier uh, with the pan and stuff like that. You want to get all the high spots off. So basically, you want to clean this uh, any way you can. I, you know what? Uh, to be honest, I used a razor on all this. I know I've been preaching don't use a razor, but. I used a razor on this. You know, don't. I wouldn't use a wire wheel or any kind of abrasive power tool like that. But uh, a razor, if, if you get it at a nice enough angle, you're not going to take out any material. You're not going to dig. You're not going to gouge any of the any of the stuff here. So, but well, after after I did that, I went over it with a rag and some brake cleaner, stuff like that. And I even cleaned up some of this in here, so you can't really feel any of that. I mean a little bit right there, but it's not sticky. It's not built up like it was. So now we're going to go through, and I'm going to show you how to check the the uh, for the block for warpage, which is what the straight edge is for. So first, you want to check right here. And just put it right down the middle, right across, just like that. And what you're going to do is you're going to get a feeler gauge, and I like to start with the thinnest one possible, just because that's you know. Hope for the best, plan for the worst. But what you're gonna do is, like this one is a thousandth and a half. So let's see if I can get it focused on it right there. Come on, point zero zero one five. And I dropped it. Crap. So, there we go. Now it's all dirty, look at that. Oops. Mm, wipe it off on my pants. Oh well, okay, so. Now you're going to basically go under here and you're going to check to see if you can get the feeler gauge under it. Okay. And you're going to basically wherever you can get the feeler gauge under is going to be your low spot. But you can see right there, it's not going under at all. It's going under a tiny bit, but it's not really, it's going under until it hits the metal. There which is fantastic, I like that. 15 thousandths, I'd say that's pretty pretty, pretty good. I can't I can't really ask for better than that. That's almost perfect. Or less than 15 thousandths, because the 15 thousandths won't, won't go underneath it. Then you want what you want to do is you want to set a diagonal that way, and then you're gonna do the same thing going this way. So, again, over here. Go underneath it. And just check all along the edge, wherever it's touching the metal. See if it'll go under. Stuff like that. See that. Focus, phone, focus. Yeah, that's no low spots. So you you know you, you want to check you know watch out for if it's if it's you can't get it under here 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 oh but for, for right here you can actually slide it all the way under 
then you might have some block warpage, stuff like that. We're gonna go through the same process also with the cylinder head once I get the, uh, the, the lifters taken out of it and so I can turn it upside down. And uh, I may go to see in the back if, I, if we actually have a cylinder head stand uh, that I can mount it upside down in. And also, I believe Mercedes had a tool to where I can set the lifters on and keep them in the right position without getting them mixed up. Because I mean, like like I said, like I showed you before, yeah, this 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 one is perfect. I'm not going to go through the whole process with the other side because it's identical, and I don't need this video to be, you know, me playing around with a feeler gauge for 20 minutes. So that's it uh, for this video. And next video, I'm going to pull the transmission. You know, you can see right here, I have the exhaust out. Now this exhaust feels like it's made out of freaking lead. It's so heavy. So I'm going to take off. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take off this back session because it only has the cats. There's no cats up here. It only has those cats right there. So I'm gonna take off this whole back section because this whole back section right here is probably 60 pounds, something like that. It's freaking heavy. I'll get some kind of exhaust made up for it, make it nice and loud. I haven't decided what kind yet, stuff like that. So um, we'll do that, and uh, I'll keep. Can, I'll, I'm in the process of getting the transmission pulled, so. Um, I'm compiling a video on that, which is going to be a, a slightly longer one. So, um, again, thank you for watching. Hit subscribe. Give me that thumbs up.